Hey guys, welcome back. So today we have our good friend, the ginkgo leaf. Um, and I have decided, God bless America, I've just cleaned this. Don't you hate that? Err! It's like the second you set up, everything just gets stuff all over it. So anyway, we're going to make a ginkgo leaf. And we're going to make it pretty, prettier than it already is. So over here I have three ounces of my one-to-one -one resin. I have uh, offloaded a little bit of it and making a mess again uh, into my tiny little silicone thing. I have added a very minute amount of white pigment paste because I don't want it super heavy. I just want it subtle. Uh, there's a reason behind that. Because I want it that way. <laughs> so anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and pour our just very exciting clear resin into our leaf. I'm going to go all the way around the perimeter. And then fill in the blanks. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to squeeze and tap. Make sure that I don't have any bubbles. Bubble, bubble, bubble. No. Anywhere, anywhere. Bubbles. Any place. Don't see any. Okay, good. Yay. So I have three of my about alcohol ink colors here. I have bright red, I have orange red, and I have reddish brown. So around the outside, I'm going to go in with the bright red, and I'm going to be pretty liberal with it. I want this pretty heavily colored. I want lots of vibrance. Okay. In the middle, I'm going to go in with our orange red, which I have to say is one of my favorite colors. And there, near the end here, is where we're going to go in with our reddish brown. Give that a moment to settle in. Uh, so what I'm going to do is squish and make some pretty shapes. Generally following the shape of the mold. until I basically just run out of white. Okay. And now that I've run out of white, I'm going to go on lobby duty. Try to break some of them up. And I'm not going so much for petals per se. I'm going for design. Um, so I, that's why I hesitate to call this a bloom uh, because I'm, I don't really know if it will bloom. I'm just, I'm looking for design in, uh, in the pattern itself. So we'll see what happens, right? If we get some bloomy bits, fantastic. 
If we don't, okay. It's more of an abstract sort of, you know. I've learned to quit trying so hard to get things to work right. I've learned just to just try to make things work, you know. If it doesn't go exactly the way that you intended to, okay, that's fine. You know, find the, find the beauty in what it did end up as. <laughs> so, that being said, uh, I'm going to go with a tiny torch, get rid of some bubbles, try not to get near the mold, heat up the resin a little bit. And we're just gonna we're just gonna let it create its own beauty. You know, because that's one of the wonderful things of of life is uh, letting things create its own beauty. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be exactly what you intended. Uh, all it has to be is what it is. Mm. A lot of times we forget that. Um, so, at any rate, I'm going to stop uh, my little uh, TED Talk here, and I'm going to zoom this in, and we'll see what happens. see I added a very thin layer of uh, black resin to make our backing because I, I wanted a dark background to it um, but it's still just slightly slightly see-through but not really but anyway let's demold the fun part is that stem but everything looks good don't see I see just a couple of
1590 little bubbles, but nothing. See, there's one. I don't know if you can see. Oh, there it is. All right. Let's see how it turned out. One, two, three. Oh my. Oh my. Look at that. Oh wow. Wow. That is amazing. <laughs> Even my phone thinks so. I'm very pleased. Very pleased. Subtle. Subtle, beautiful. Wow. So, there we go. What do you guys think? I think that that turned out absolutely beautifully. My gosh. So please let me know what you think in the comments. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm happy. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I really do hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.